Hey there, beautiful people. What's going on? Today I'm doing an individual review, and this is initial impression, not a full on review, because I just received it a while back. And I was wearing this. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is an interesting one, okay? Uh, I will do a full review like later, a few months or a few weeks later. But I have to talk about this because there's not really that many reviews on this gem, okay? This is a fragrance, okay? This is as dark as it gets so far in my journey. I reviewed many dark fragrances. I saw a few people talking about this under one reviewer's uh, channel and these people are like this is like something devil would wear you know the devil would wear or like the satan would wear <laughs> and it got me really intrigued because so far i have my official something like the devil juice which is rasa's ishura you know you guys know this this is like you guys know this you know this bro uh sweet you know ashy feel the man that the fruity notes and everything but that fragrance everybody's scared of but i call this official the devil juice or fragrance that devil would wear but just now my good friend thomas asked me in my group uh, bro is this devilish then shura i'm like yeah <laughs> and that's what i'm talking about it okay i have plenty to save in this initial impression this is from house of latafa and this is called udal sahara okay and i think i don't know if it's they are referring to sahara desert but Perhaps it's, uh, you know, perhaps it's there. But this bottle reminds me of one fragrance called Mikalef. M. Mikalef. There are a few bottles like that. Then Terracotta by Gialan, I think. And uh, what else? Uh, one more fragrance house, Boadicea. So this one reminds me of a lot of fragrance bottles, okay? But I'll tell you exactly what it smells like. I'm not going to look at notes breakdown, nothing. I think this is an absolute stunner. This is one of those fragrances, love it or hate it. But those who will love it, you really love it. Those who will hate it, will really hate it. Okay, so I'm going to throw the review out. And check it out okay so this fragrance is not very expensive lot of is budget friendly still now you can get this under 20 something dollars okay so 22 25 bucks maximum in our country <clears throat> depending on which shop you get it from i bought this from fragrantica bangladesh so oh, so time 2 30. i'm in very good mood i went out for a nice little dining nice little food curry beef man i'm in good mood but very hot and humid outside and it rained as well <laughs> so uh, an interesting weather not the weather you want to wear this but i'm in the ac room so i'm wearing this on my hand as scent of the afternoon so if let's say you are buying this in europe perhaps price will vary okay so do not quote me on the pricing so this is how the box looks when the bottle is inside it shows the center part center uh, bit here so it looks really pretty box is not very gorgeous or anything it's just a simple paper cardboard got some designs the name of the fragrance it's 100 ml i love that edp concentration definitely ddp in here some of the other batch code where it's made i think it's dubai so latafa is you guys know they're on fire and i'm i am on fire okay because i've been reviewing so many latafas because they are affordable i can buy three four fragrances for the price of one designer very very uh nice thing for creating content on top of it you know it's a win-win situation when i review latafa i got the most views i review something expensive here and people don't seem to enjoy them and i'm like what a waste <laughs> i'm sorry it does, i don't mean that so here is the bottle the bottle is so gorgeous guys i mean just take a look at that i was mentioning terracotta it remi reminds me of that this part the whole bottle shape m mikalev they have some bottles juska is very opulent like oud how oud would look and it's kind of like honey amber color and then the cap uh, base looks like that there's a sticker the cap i think it's a uh, I think plastic maybe they give it like a wooden look okay it says latafa up top in arabic and think this kind of like a chain kind of cool okay and this sprayer is really nice really really good atomizer clicks onto place okay so i'll just spray once more okay i cannot afford to wear so many sprays of this just go one the sprayer quality is like shoots a lot of juice but the sound is not very pleasant okay it doesn't sound very premium okay so that's one thing so let it let it like settle down let the liquid vaporize then i'll talk about it so as that that is happening i reviewed some smoky fragrance in my time okay i did quite a few fragrances, which is incense leather you know like tobacco very dark fragrances gucci guilty absolute one of the scary fragrances and i'll tell you one thing let me show you some of them like if you know black afghano i don't own it i reviewed it as uh, similar to this gucci intense oh this is kind of like a dark fragrance and then i did really smoky would be amouage this is called interlude man and also i would say I don't have memoir man but that is a really smoky fragrance i reviewed that as well so if you talk about smoke leather this kind of thing these are that kind of fragrance and one more let me show you is this fragrance okay i think this is the fragrance as dark as it gets this is also latafa mahir black edition okay beautiful horsey 
So these fragrances I already have and I will tell you <clears throat> these three are some of my more smoky fragrances and if you actually tried memoir you will feel that incense kind of like uh, I don't know what kind of incense maybe frankincense or something like really smoky leathery dark and some people like that like John Barbados dark rebel people like those kind of dark fragrances. This fragrance right here is dark fragrance okay if you are into dark fragrances and I'm not saying you have to be a Satan worship or anything like that it's but if you are I don't judge but I'm saying this is as dark as it gets I don't know how Latapa made this this was already good this is very very good this is very nice this is even more mind-blowing okay I'm telling you when I wear this man that opening the pepper you know I, I detect definitely a black pepper saffron kind of like a leather incense smoke all these kind of things that you can only find in hell i'm sorry i never been there so but i watched the movie you know constantine this fragrance remind me of constantine the movie look at that oil okay this fragrance lasts okay i've been wearing it it's still pushing two three hours it's pushing pushing um this is not a fragrance i will tell you if you live in a hot uh, climate okay like let's say you you constantly live under the sun you don't see any winters ever you don't have any rain nothing this fragrance is not recommended for you. I mean, you crave for it, you can get it, but this is one of those nice, knowing country kind of fragrance. Let's say in Canada, I see the Canadian complain about the cold. I would love to uh, like get frozen in that cold weather because I I absolutely hate hot weather, warm weather, sweating. You know, it's like not pleasant. It's like not good for fragrances. This fragrance, if you live in a cold weather, this is such a gem, such a gem. It will smell heavenly it will not really uh, become so animalic uh, because the cold weather will help it you know like preserve the coolness of this fragrance even though it's hot it's cool because this is such an awesome fragrance so that stuff that i told you man there's no citrus in this there's no fruity notes there's no sweetness all you get the pepper the incense the smoke the leather and this fragrance actually i'll tell you when I was talking about Rasa Sishura, that is like a really sweet fragrance. But in terms of scent profile, this is the most evil fragrance I ever smell, and in a good way. I mean, this is, uh, I would wear this literally, legit, I would wear it with a uh, leather jacket or a jeans and boot. And I'll go for a drive in, let's say midwinter, really cold weather, gloomy weather. I mean, forget about uh, Black Afghano. Black Afghano is cool, but this is really like a dark lord, okay? man i i just absolutely love this this is so heavenly so people who tried it they actually told uh this is a clone of something bodice or something you know those niche fragrance house i never smelled the original but this whatever they made here is a genuine masterpiece it's a love it or hate it but for me absolute love 10 10 kind of a fragrance presentation beautiful love the bottle love the longevity love the scent profile it's so true to what it's doing okay so i hope Many big reviewers will look into this. They can break it down better. They'll give you better notes breakdown. Perhaps they're not going to be as enthusiastic as I am. But I'm telling you, if you love these fragrances, this is definitely a sweet uh, addition in the family. If you like incense, try this fragrance. And it's really, really masculine. If you think Man in Black is masculine, layered that with that, this one with that, you'll be invincible. Okay, Such a serious, dark, mysterious, uh, peach black kind of fragrance absolute love there's not much wood playing in this so far but they're woody elements okay it gets mellow the incense get mellow and much more wearable you can wear this at work no issue just do not wear it at uh, gym okay do not wear this in uh, let's say your first date uh, no uh, wear this when you are in mood to wear uh, you know like a good fragrance and go for a ride with your bike and go to the nature and enjoy your time and just absolute peace with yourself uh, that's the kind of fragrance you want to spend some time with yourself this is the fragrance lot of i don't know i'm just speechless whatever they're producing i have to keep buying these um they show you i have ordered two more they're coming maybe tomorrow but this fragrance are just mind-blowing for the price the value this fragrance bottle could be 50 ml i would still pay that 22 25 bucks okay that good okay even if it was 30 ml i would buy it okay i think you're gonna have a hard time finishing the bottle because all you need is two to three sprays max okay so there you go 10 perfection 10 for this fragrance beautiful but never blind by this never ever blind by it's a risky one only if you like the description and you know my taste if it suits you if you like latafa mahir black edition or any of these um, try this okay very nice fragrance udal sahara by latafa thank you so much for watching hopefully you will enjoy the next episodes as well take care